Hey guys, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeebs here, your old composer here at the Decomposer Lounge, peeling back the layers and dissecting suggested songs. I want to get right on this. Um, I've been eagerly awaiting the release of tracks, and every time I turn around uh, from the, uh, Jared Dine's profile, of which whom I follow, so I'm familiar with what's going on there, my favorite reactors have already jumped on it, and I don't want to be that guy. Even though I have probably something different to say, I just don't want to be that guy. I wanted to find something new, and uh, I just came back from doing something, turned around on my computer, and this was on my browser, so I am so on this. This is Scion Inside the Hollow. Uh, like usual, I appreciate all your support. Uh, if you want to support me, obviously you can buy me a cup of coffee because you know my channel's not monetized with these videos or, or my Patreon. Some people go to the Patreon in lieu of buying me coffee if they want a little something for their money. I just got through doing another reaction uh, for a Tool track, matter of fact, off their Opiate album, of which I've never done one, I don't think. Anyhow, it's all there. It's all there for you to check it out. The link's down below, but most importantly, the link for this song in this video is down below. So let's do this. Scion Inside the Hollow. All right. Wow, I feel like I'm really super lucky here because I think, you know, without a doubt, without a doubt, without a doubt, by that, without a doubt, uh, I, I was expecting, you know, full on, you know, the people's elbow power and it, we were going into it. This, I have to say, I'm so elated that I, I, this is the track that I'm working on because I love this kind of trajectory in production and composition and arrangement. So I don't know, it sounds like maybe the acoustic guitar is also in an open tuning, uh, but what a great sound for that. And also the, all the work in the background, that ambient work, you know, there's so many uh, plugins and stuff that could actually emulate certain things, what at times keyboards would use to do ambient pads and stuff, but it sounds like there's long uh, kind of, I would call them crystal halls type reverb and notes that are, you know, hanging, uh, you know, out in the background that gives you this wide ambient vibe like you know really kind of universal close your eyes and just drifting through whatever you're drifting on whatever you're drifting on um then as the drums come in obviously that 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 sound all of a sudden I'm, i recognize there's kind of like a there's kind of like a a uh, um what's the word i'm looking for not typical but you know bands usually uh, in, in the last few years have a telltale sound of how, you know, they like to have certain things EQ'd and engineered and stuff. But there's something else that I really love about this, and I'll just shut up and get going again, is um, his voice. His voice in, in this um, um, type of production is so powerful yet so subdued. If there's such a thing, you know, it, it's like you could tell that that power is creeping right behind his voice and his vocal cords and stuff. But that ability to, you know, project in a soulful way and still maintain that you know what's really behind there. And then all of a sudden the hook comes and the hook was great. This this is um, three and a half minutes. This hook, they're in it to a minute within a minute. The hook is in within a minute in that area. And uh, so it sounds, and it look, it sounds like the song has been constructed and written, and you know, more more towards that kind of um, 
a desire. You know, I'll probably hear the hook a couple more times out. So I'm going to go back a little bit, and then uh, I'm going to see if I can not say another thing. We'll let the rest of it go unless, you know, I'm overly compelled to uh, say something. Like, I don't ever have a shortage for words, right? I'm going on. Okay, I'm sorry, I know it was really close. I gotta stop with that. First of all, that solo, I loved every bit of that. And the soulfulness and the notes, and even the space between the notes. I think a lot of times in a lot of the, the kind of music that we listen to on my channel, that you guys tell me, there's a lot of ripping, I mean, tell me to listen to, there's a lot of ripping, shredding guitar players doing incredible solos and stuff. That, but these other solos, these kind of David Gilmore style solo, this kind of solo, um, and, you know, actually that's what the production calls for, really, but they, you know, he could have played that Seven Ways of Sunday and just tore it apart. Um, another thing I want to briefly mention, and then I promise I'll go back about half a minute and then we'll glide all the way out, is um, I did hear, okay, I, I could be wrong, but it sounded like there was just some kind of, you know, marcato or, or, or uh, spiccato kind of strings just holding just a pattern you know, like an ostinato or something. I could, I didn't know if it was that, 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 or just that, that, that. And I love that. It's subtle. It's in the back. And the other thing is too is the layered vocals. Just absolutely beautiful. You know, with those long tail delays or reverbs that keep it kind of washy and keep this journey just like like wind in the face journey through whatever your theory of the mind creates out of this song. This this song um, uh, touches on that. And then finally, the last thing is is that. Another super important thing that I really love hearing is the, is the rhythmical value of the acoustic guitar playing. The strumming and stuff, yes, of course, you're hearing chords in the background, but the high end of the pick on the strings and stuff like that, setting the pace of what is kind of like this mellow, forward-moving uh, arrangement, you know, while the drums and all the other uh, instruments fill in behind, like the bass. You saw me got mental. I was like, boom, baddie, we did it. <laughs> that was so cool. All right, I'm going to go back a little bit. And let's uh, finish this up. I'm sorry, I, I thought I was gonna talk, but I, I'm just afraid that I'm gonna forget shit if I s don't stop, and so here we go. Oh, yeah. I'm
I love that. That, 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 that just happened. Um, I'm so pumped that I had the opportunity to actually react to this song. Um, I, I'm going to make a prediction. Like I don't know shit about what other people like, but I'm going to say that this song is going to be one of their bigger standouts, possibly, only because it's like... There's just something to be said about a group of musicians and uh, writers, arrangers, composers, when they go to the wall and they push the limits of their musicianship and stuff, and then they decide to pull back on the rain to do a piece like this, you know? And trust me, simple is not easy. This is not a simple song, but you understand what I'm saying? The capabilities of all the killer stuff that they do with their music and their musicianship, just to have these few chords and just let these arrangements breathe, let the vocals just soar, you know? I'm, I'm goobering about it because I think I needed this today, you know? So uh, it, was, it was just perfect timing, I think. And that's my story, I'm sticking to it. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. Hey, listen guys, sorry for dropping two on you. I hope you didn't mind. Uh, thanks for your support once again. If you want to buy me a cup of coffee, you know, uh, that's super cool beans. Or uh, check out my Patreon or, or whatever the case is. Um, I'm still having a blast doing this and I'm going to continue to do it. All right, guys, take care of yourself. Have a killer weekend. Aloha. Ah All right.